Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's exploration of the solar system, we are going to talk about the Pioneer 10 and our first mission to the outer parts of the solar system. So here is Pioneer 10 as it's getting prepared for launch back in March of 1972. So it was launched in March and it was the first mission to study the planet Jupiter. Now this means in order to get to Jupiter it also became the first craft to pass through the asteroid belt. And here we can see that travel here. The asteroid belt is located between the planets Mars and Jupiter. So that's a little hard to see here. Jupiter is the orange. So this region in here is the asteroid belt all the way around the sun here. There is a whole belt of a lot of asteroids, hundreds of thousands, millions of different asteroids. So in order to get to Jupiter, you've got to travel through that asteroid belt. We knew we were going to be well away from the nearest asteroid that we knew of, 8 million kilometers. But of course, that was the nearest known asteroid. And there were lots more that were unknown. Now, it did successfully go through the asteroid belt. And we can see here it passes Jupiter uh, in late 1973. In fact, December of 1973, it flew by Jupiter, giving us our first images close up of the large planet. So let's take a look at that here as it's coming in to look at Jupiter. We can see Jupiter. We can see a couple of its moons. We see a shadow of a moon there on the planet itself. We see one of the moons off to the upper right. And we see a portion of the great red spot off towards the left hand side of the image. Now this was the first mission to Jupiter and gave us much better images than we could possibly get from Earth. So we got images to be able to look at Jupiter in far more detail and see much more of the cloud structures and banding structures that are present on Jupiter. It also imaged the larger moons of Jupiter. And we can see one of those here, not necessarily great images, but our first chance to even see these moons, because while they're visible from Earth, they are only visible as a point of light. We can't actually see the surfaces of the moons. And we started to get our first images. It also traveled around beyond Jupiter and allowed us to see it for the very first time as a crescent phase. That is not something that can be seen from Earth. In order to see something as a crescent phase, it has to be between your location and the sun. So when our moon is between us and the sun, we see it as a crescent. We can see Mercury or Venus as crescents. But Jupiter is always on the other side. It never gets between us and the sun. So we can never see it as a crescent unless you travel out beyond Jupiter as Pioneer 10 did. Now Pioneer 10 is still traveling. It is the third most distant craft, even though it was the first one headed out there. And that's because it was not moving near as fast as some of the later craft that are actually at greater distances. All contact was lost in 2003. So we know it's still heading out there, but we are no longer have any communication with the craft. However, it does contain the plaque that was sent out that contains information about us here on Earth. So here we see the pioneer plaque and we see figures of two human figures here relative to the, the antenna of the spacecraft. We can show our location here on Earth, the third of at that time the nine planets in the solar system and showing that that's where this craft came from. And some of the other things help to pinpoint our location. This contains binary information and distances about a number of different pulsars that an, another species may be able to decipher to learn our location. And this another thing, the little what look like little Google eyes up here are actually the hydrogen molecule and showing the what we call the spin flip transition, which tells us about a lot of the material. That's how we study gas using this transition and the radio waves that it emits. So let's go ahead and summarize a little bit about what we've learned here. 
And what we've covered is that Pioneer 10 was the first craft to traverse the asteroid belt and explore the outer solar system, in this case the planet Jupiter. First detailed images of Jupiter and its moons. And we looked at the Pioneer plaque which contained information about the origins of the craft, letting others perhaps, if they're out there, know where we are. So that concludes this discussion of the Pioneer 10 spacecraft. We'll be back again next week for another exploration of the solar system. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.